educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled Fundamentals of SAP Service Management. During today's webinar, we will review the functionalities of SAP ECC Service Management and SAP CRM Service Management and discuss the advantages of each solution. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President for LeverX. I will be our webinar moderator today. Before I turn the time over to our presenters, let me introduce you to LeverX. LeverX is an SAP Services Partner an SAP Business Object Solution Partner, an associate member of the PLM Alliance as a Google Enterprise Partner. LeverX assists companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. So the goal of this webinar is to talk about the service business it needs and how SAP can be achieved to uh, uh, can be used to achieve these goals. Uh, in this webinar, you will learn about the service business, the SAP ECC customer service module, a short demo on SAP field service solution, and an introduction to SAP CRM solution and various implementation options. Uh, what is a service business? Uh, when we say service business, business, it refers to product or it can be a product based after sales service. Um, for several decades, customer service as a business had been long neglected in many organizations and they have been treated as a cost center. Um, basically, the sales department will sell a product and offer a lot of freebies like free installation, free services, etc. So in other words, it was designated as a cost center. The service department profitability was not really a factor. Then slowly as the product margins and profitability is becoming thin due to global competition, companies realize that they cannot squeeze out any more dollars from the product cost and started focusing on service business to increase their service revenue and profits. So slowly the service business became a revenue driver. After tasting a little bit of success in that direction, the company started developing total solution as a service product and were able to increase the service revenue multifold. Now many companies are moving towards making service as a business strategy. This is a big change in the situation. Earlier service was given free for selling the products but now the products are given free to sell the services. A simple example can be cell phones given away free to get the service charges using monthly plans. But since the service business is heavily labor oriented, organizations face a lot of challenges. Unlike a product where several things can be measured and controlled, service activities generally were not used to proper measurements. A lot of benchmarks and measurements are now created and measured regularly. For example, first time fix, repeat repair, call per person per day, customer satisfaction, customer profitability, and so on. Now every service activity is getting measured. Many companies are uh, already into this very seriously and many are moving in that direction, but still a lot of others are lagging behind. What are the service business challenges? The list shows various business challenges uh, that are being faced by the service businesses. First and foremost is how to increase the service revenue. 
are we having enough data on our customers or about the install base or about the service opportunities that exist? Do we have the necessary service products that can earn us a service revenue? What service products do our customers need? How to package them? How profitable the service product will be? Apart from that, obviously there, there is a need for increasing the service efficiency and productivity. Uh, though both the terms look alike, they convey different meaning. Efficiency means doing the same thing with as little waste as possible. Are we able to achieve, do it right the first time? Or do we have to make multiple visits to attend to a customer or attend to a problem? Productive means getting more things done with smaller amount of time. The service person may be efficient, but he also needs to be productive. Is our service planning adequate enough to make it very efficient and productive? How many calls each person attend per day? Are we doing enough capacity planning? Is there a possibility to increase? How much of money we spend on warranty? Is it possible to reduce it? What data is available to achieve that? How much of that warranty expenses are we able to charge back to our vendors? Another important aspect or the challenge being faced is the inventory cost. We all know poor inventory management is the root cause of all the problems in a business. Is our inventory planning well enough? How many of these parts are slow moving and not moving at all? Do we have adequate service data? do an ABC analysis. What is our inventory cost? How do we reduce our inventory without affecting the service parts need of the customer? 